Good morning, Sate. How is everyone doing today? I pray that you all are doing well. And I have to say that I have missed you guys so very much from the classroom. However, it is good to be back with you virtually in somewhat of a classroom setting. We have just entered into a new month, the month of July, and we also have a new lesson for this month with a topic of news about Jesus spread. And our topic is coming from Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 through 25. Okay? Now, we also have a new objective. And our objective for this new lesson is Jesus wants everyone to follow him and look to him for comfort and guidance. Okay? This is what we want to capture from our lesson by the time we complete the lesson for the month. This is our, object, our objective and this is what we want to grasp from this lesson. That Jesus wants everyone to follow him and look to him for comfort and guidance. We also have a key verse, which is uh, also known as our memory verse. Our memory verse is coming from the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 11, verse 28, which says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Now, in this uh, memory verse, we have Jesus speaking to us. And wow, this sounds like an invitation to me, an invitation that I cannot turn down and I will by all means accept. And this invitation is for us all as we go through this unprecedented time dealing with the pandemic. Okay, again, we will learn this memory verse. By the time we complete our lesson for the month, we will also be able to memorize this verse. And we will also come back and revisit this uh, memory verse and discuss it a little bit more in detail. Okay, in this lesson, uh, we will need paper, pencil, and perhaps even your cell phones. I want you to take a minute and make sure you write down the objective, if you haven't already done so, uh, the key verse, because we will be focusing on both of these as we uh, go through the lesson. And you also may want to just take your cell phone and use it if you're not able to keep up as, our, uh, as, it's, as we're going. Just take a picture of it with your cell phone and you can always go back and revisit it again. Okay, now we will look at uh, our introduction. We want to introduce you to the lesson that we're going to be talking about for the rest of this month. So let's get into our introduction of our lesson. Um, Jesus, our servant, superhero is um, who we're going to be talking about throughout this lesson. I will read to you the brief intro introduction. Jesus, our servant superhero, moved into a three-pronged ministry, teaching, number one, preaching, number two, and healing. And he did all of this after John the Baptist had been put into prison. Jesus left his hometown in Nazareth and he moved to Capernaum and the area of Zebulun and Naphtali. Jesus preached to large crowds that gathered around him in the open air. And on the Sabbath day, he taught smaller gatherings in the synagogue. 
As Jesus traveled about Galilee, he didn't just preach and teach. Matthew, who is our writer the, uh, and the author of this book, is careful to point out that no illness or disease was beyond Jesus' power to heal. Jesus' actions became known not only in Galilee, but also news spread it throughout Syria, drawing even more people to follow him. The good news about Jesus' compassion as well as his power to heal drew people to follow him all over the world. And it continues to do so. It continues to do so even today. Now, uh, before we go any further, we're going to focus on our servant superhero in our lesson today, which is Jesus. Okay, now there are three, uh, I have listed three different categories of a hero. Uh, we want to look at a comic or an animated hero. We're going to look at a to, uh, today's hero or the world's heroes. And last, we're going to look at our Bible heroes. So what I'm going to do is list here for you the three different categories. And I want you to list them also as we as I go okay I'm just gonna draw a line here real quick and I'm going to list the three categories of heroes the first one is going to be comet or animated heroes Okay, second one is, the second category will be our Today's Heroes. Or, and I'm right above that, I hope you can see it, our World Heroes. And last will be our Biblical Heroes. which will come from our Bible. All right, now, these are my examples. You will list your own because when we come together on Wednesday, you will come back with your heroes under the same categories. You will list at least two comic or animated heroes. You will also list at least two world heroes or heroes of today, and then you also list two biblical heroes. Now, I'm going to list my own heroes. And my first one is going to be, and I'm only going to list one under each category. It's going to be Superman. Okay, he's my comic hero. The next will be one of my world heroes. And one of my worldly heroes is going to be Dr. Martin Luther King. And last will be one of my biblical heroes, which is that of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now remember, these are my heroes. You will write your own heroes, okay? Now, before we go any further, we are going to list some characteristics of a hero. Now, I know that uh, some of you may 
think of some characteristics that I may not list, but I'm going to list some on um, the back of this board. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to list some of the qualifications that um, I think that a hero should have, okay? So if you um, have not taken a picture of this, take a moment, use your cell phone, go ahead and do so because I do want you to write the objective down. I want you to also write down our key verse or memory verse. And I also want you to write down uh, the three different categories of heroes, which is comic or animated heroes, um, world heroes or today's heroes, uh, and also biblical heroes. So if you haven't taken, taken a picture of it yet, go ahead and do so, and I'll pause for, uh, for a quick minute. Get your cell phones out. Let's use them uh, to take a, a copy or a picture of the uh, categories. Okay, I'm going to quickly flip over our little board. And on the other side, I'm going to list um, some characteristics of a hero. All right. Now, I hope this works. All right. Okay, let me make this a little bit more sturdy so that you will be able to see it and copy it. All right. Uh, okay. Now, what I'm going to write here will be our characteristics. And these are characteristics that I have chosen. Again, you may know some, or you may have some of your own. And I'm going to write a hero. All right, I've got quite a few here. Okay, the first one I'm going to list is their courage. Okay, uh, let's say number two is going to be their nobility. Number three, uh, their brilliancy. Number four, is the daring. Okay, let's do number five here. And let's say um, their boldness. Number six, uh, love. Love, and I'm gonna say love for all men. Number seven is going to be power. Number eight is going to be all-knowing, a one that knows all things, a one that may risk their lives for others. Okay, number 10, some even give up their life for others.
and I'm almost finished. Um, some make huge sacrifices for others. And some do extraordinary things for others. Okay. All of these things are characteristic, everything that I have listed are characteristics that make up a servant hero. Now, let's take another look at the different categories and the heroes that I placed underneath those categories. But one other thing, as you write down what I have written, you may want to add some extra that I did not include because your heroes may be different from my heroes. Okay? Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and write again the heroes that I've chosen because when I look at each one of them, I want to share with you why I chose Superman as my comic or animated hero. And I'm gonna write comic over Superman, unanimated. Okay, and for my World Hero, I had put Dr. Martin Luther King, and for my Biblical Hero, I had Jesus Christ. All right, now, I'm going to share with you why I chose Superman as my comic or animated hero. And I will also try and identify the characteristics that Superman had. And as I identify them, I'm going to check them off my list. Okay, Superman, and I used to love to watch him on TV. I still like to watch his movies. And I used to read his comic. I used to read about him in comic books uh, years ago. All right, now, Superman had what? Courage. And I'm going to put a smile check by him. Courage. He also was daring. Okay? He also was bold. He also had power, but Superman had a limited amount of power. He could not do all things. Okay, uh, Superman also risked his life for others. And he made huge sacrifices for others. And he also uh, did extraordinary things for others. Now, these are reasons that I'm sharing with you is why I felt that Superman was a comet servant hero. All right, and I'm going to check these two off. All right. Now, I'm going to also now look at our world hero, who is Dr. Martin Luther King, and the characteristics that Dr. I feel that Dr. Martin Luther King, and again, you may think of some that I have not listed, but remember, this is my list, and you're going to do your own. All right, Dr. Martin Luther King had courage also. 
So I'm going to put another check by current. Dr. Martin Luther King was a nobleman. He had mo nobility. He was also daring. He was very bold. He done some things that everyone wouldn't do today. Dr. Martin Luther King had love for all men. Dr. Martin Luther King uh, risked his lives for others. Put another check there. He also uh, gave huge sacrifices for others. And he did some extraordinary things for others. Now, these are the characteristics that I feel that Dr. Martin Luther King had uh, and this is why I listed him as my world hero. And last, we have our biblical hero, which is that of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Savior. So what I can do here is just go on the other side, and I'm going to check all of these. Because Jesus had all of these characteristics and some more that I know that I have not listed. Now, if you think of some more and you choose Jesus Christ as your biblical hero, make sure that you write them down on your paper. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm just gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna check courage, nobility, brilliancy, daring, bold. He had love for all men. He had all power. He's all knowing. He um, risked his life. He also gave up his life for others. He made huge sacrifices for the entire world. And he also do extraordinary things for others. Okay. Again, there are some more that, and I'm going to add one more to that. And I'm going to make that number 13 because, oh, okay, I have it already. Love for all men. Jesus loved the world, which included all men. Now, I have shared with you characteristics of a hero, a comic hero, world hero, and a biblical hero that I chose. Now, of these three categories and my three heroes that I have listed, my next question is, will I follow my comic hero Will I follow my world hero or will I follow my biblical hero? Okay, my comic hero, the animated hero, Superman, my answer is no. I do not choose to follow him. My world hero, Dr. Martin Luther King, who is a civil rights leader, he was a preacher, he loved all men, and he made huge sacrifices for others. During the time that he was here with us, yes, I would follow him, but the thing is, this world hero is no longer here, okay? So I cannot continue to follow him, but yes, I would have been a follower of Dr. Martin Luther King when he was here on planet Earth. My last one, and I'm gonna go ahead and put yes here, is my biblical hero, who is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who had all of these characteristics and some more, more that I know I did not name. You think of them, write them on your paper. Yes, Jesus Christ, I will, follow through the rest of my life. Yes, for Jesus Christ. Now, on your paper, I need you to list all three categories, comic or animated heroes, world heroes, or today's heroes, whichever one you choose, and biblical heroes. Okay. Having done that, when you complete your list of uh, categories and your heroes, I want you to list at least 
two under each category. So when we come together again on Wednesday, um, you will bring back your, your heroes and you will share with us um, the characteristics that each one of your heroes had of uh, what makes them a hero, okay? All right. Um, now, this pretty much concludes our introduction for today. And I want to say this lesson on news about Jesus spread is going to be a very rewarding lesson. This concludes our introduction into our new lesson for this month, News About Jesus Spread, and I want to encourage all of you that during this pandemic time of COVID-19, one of the benefits, and we know that there are many benefits in following Jesus, but one of the benefits of following Jesus is that he not only wants to know about your problem, but he also wants you to know that he's able and he's more than able to solve your problems or to help you with your problems. Following Jesus is the only way you can have peace, contentment, and rest during this unprecedented time. This will conclude our lesson, our Sunday school lesson for today. And I want you guys to have a blessed week. And thank you, class of Sauté, and all the others that have joined in with us today uh, for this Sunday school lesson. And it is to be continued on Wednesday. Have a blessed day and a blessed week.